Hi, my name is Onza and welcome to the second episode of New Manchester. Today we're going to be building the bases of the downtown, a school, a church and a small station and adding city services like garbage yeah garbage then police ambulances so health care and a fire department yeah. I'm pre-recording this before the first episode even launched so yeah I'm going to try to answer some questions you might ask so if you m are asking which buildings I use I basically just used the buildings from the new market collection by Yumbel for his series which is on the same map and it's also the same theme because I got inspired by him so if, if he's watch if you're watching this Yumble, you have a good series it's probably better than mine because I'm just getting started with this stuff and all and I'm not that good of a city builder but yeah and also from adding other buildings as well like the contemporary architecture and contemporary midrise condos those midrise condos are by clues and the contemporary architecture I actually can't remember who created it and also I'm using North American Railway and other stuff I might make a collection later but yeah. I'm using also a lot of mods and the game is really tough on RAM so I have like I have 16 gigs and it takes like five minutes to load the game so if one day the game gets messed up and there won't be videos that's the reason my save file got corrupted or something but I hope I'm not, I just hope it won't happen I fortunately made backups I'm making backups on those saves always but not quick saves because those would just clog up the steam cloud am I am I weird for using steam cloud no. yeah now I'm building a small intersection near the railway tracks because I was connecting the section that's going to be the industrial part of the city to the city center so there had to be road access also because the waste disposal is there so it's quite needed and yeah, now I'm thinking about expanding the railways to be two track because it's quite narrow and it has low capacity so I might actually do it because it would work better now this is where I was messing with the node controller mod and the building spawn points mod because I wanted to have a separate loading zone for those power plants because having different spawn points are is cool yeah. another part of I'm again connecting utilities and doing stuff and that's when I noticed where that there was stuff like crime and stuff so I added a small police station a firehouse and a ambulance station I think it's called I didn't I don't have the a set for the um, yeah f 
for the small clinic but it's good enough for now now I'm just checking if there's any trains going to the city and also checking the city because yeah I wanted to check if everything was going okay and now I'm building the station which I'm going to off camera fix because there was this weird bug or not a bug the station was just too short so I had to modify it to make it much longer to support B Squacklehams trains those medium and long distance trains and the trains actually reverse which is a neat part and yeah so I had to make the station longer again sometimes I'm checking out and then I remember yeah the, those trains actually reverse I want to have it realistic so I added another section that's just going to be there so it isn't like trains in transport tycoon which is a fun game or god forbid trains in SimCity 5 which although was a pretty ba bad game it was easy to play so it's a decent introduction to city builders yeah. now again sometimes I'm doing roads s because no one ever gets bored with roads right yeah. I noticed there was a w an object there and I'm sure that object was not a natural formation yeah my jokes are, are trash so yeah a small intersection recycling center and also increasing their budget so they can you know protect the city from garbage like yeah I'm not gonna try I'm not trying to get myself cancelled yeah so now I'm building a small power plant so there is some reserve power for the city while I can't make the large power plant because I'm just you know it's just too big so I'm a bit lazy for to build this right now or I was because this is quite an old footage it was recorded on the 1st of September so and I, which is by the time this video releases it's more than a week so I and even now that I'm editing this I can't really remember it was probably because the city is just too small yet and I just wanted something to mark the location of the industry but yeah there will be a sawmill because sawmills are cool and yeah, now I'm just adding some more buildings because yeah the city was too small like 265 people that's m like uh village in my country which yes my country is smaller than the US like what like 36 times as small or something 32 times yeah my country is very small yeah now I added a modern building because I'm thinking of it as like there was an old building but it was destroyed or abandoned or, or something so or it had to be demolished because asbestos or some stuff yeah some stuff got was wrong with it so I just put a modern building in there just to make it less boring yeah. now I'm adding s some smaller houses and more buildings because the city is I'll 
I'm just expanding the city, okay? I'm bad with words. Now again, I'm adding much more buildings because buildings are cool. And brick buildings double are double cool. Yeah. I'm using Brooklyn assets because they are from brick. New England uses brick, so it works. It just works. It's just which is what Todd Howard says on how the games run actually. Yeah. Again, a train goes there, and I notice that it has to do some weird black magic to just go on the other side of the rails. So I'll fix it off camera. But anyway, if you like the video, like it, and yeah, subscribe.